internet issues. Hi, I am with the amazing, amazing crew, dancers, ballet extraordinaries from like Northern Ballet. And your name is? Frances. Frances. Louise. Louise. Rebecca. Rebecca. Sophie. Sophie. Ella. Ella. Emily. Emily. And you have just done an amazing performance today. Why is it important that we celebrate International Day for Disabled People? <laughs> well, I think for us, it's just been a brilliant chance for you to be able to show what, what you can do um, to perform in front of people and just to show, well, to show how good you are dancing, but also to express your ideas because that's what you do, isn't it? When you create your dancers, you, you come up with all the work yourselves. I'm just there to kind of help facilitate. Um, you create all, all the movements. What I want to kind of find out from you, tell me about that dance. What was the message behind that? Is that is, was there a message behind the um, choreography that you want the world to kind of know that you're trying to tell? Well, from my point of view, my story would be, be to be friends with to be friends with that person, and and it feels like you're in the bubble of your friends. I like that. No, so that's great. Make, being able to come out of your bubbles and make friends yeah. with people that you feel safe with, and showing that different interaction, mostly with the paper. So, tell me, what, what did the paper signify? Is that was there any message? Well, it, it kind of started off just as a, an activity that we did because when we first kind of came back to dancing together, we couldn't work in contact, could we? No. So we used a bit of paper to manipulate our partner instead. Oh. Um, but then, once you started creating duets and things, you brought more drama into them, didn't you? So each each of the, the duets, you came up with your own meaning, didn't you, using the paper. And the paper almost became like a letter that one person might have written to another. Oh. Um, so some of them became quite dramatic, and others were more just about friendship, weren't they? I liked that. What message do you want to give to the younger you who's watching this and just thinking, can I do that? Can I be part of that? Yes. What would you like to say? I say, yes, can you join us? Come and join us. Come and join us. Is it easy to dance? Can anybody dance? I, I can. Yes. I, brilliant, brilliant. And is there anything you would like to say? Um, to I do dance and scrolling. A first time, loads of dance in Scotland. Yeah. Well, yeah, you were telling me you had some elaborate costumes yeah, and everything. Yeah, costumes and the lights, and then and the dark and dark and the grass and all of that on. Yeah. I love that. How long have you guys been dancing together, like as a group? Once. Well, yeah, not a long time. <laughs> my, my first time. Really. My first time. Yeah. Wow. Brilliantly becoming part of the group. You guys are like celebrities now. Like so I feel like I need to make sure I get you guys to sign like a paper. Emily and Louise have been with the group for nearly ten years, I realise. What? About nine years on and off. You know, I'm like, wow. Rebecca, you've been with us for about five years, have you? Maybe. Something like that. I like you like maybe. I'm not gonna really commit I'm not gonna commit to that time frame. <laughs> Just in case, <laughs> yeah. you know. I don't... <laughs> yeah. No. Um, what would you say the message we want to tell people today about you? What message do you want them to understand about your capability and your ability? I feel great. Um, I don't like COVID because uh, I can't see my friends, my family, and my boyfriend as well. Ooh. Sorry. I want to pry, but I'm not going to uh, we'll talk later. <laughs> the question was like, actually, now I'm not actually distracted. By what the, the question was like, what message would you like people to know about your ability? Um, and instead of them seeing you just based on your disability, but your ability, your talent, your strength, your beauty, your panace, <laughs> what would you like them to know about you? Um, 
about me. Yeah. But I'm dance, but I don't care. So that's who I am. Woo! I love that. <laughs> I, I love being dance. I love it. Yeah. I have a question. Um, Ella, Rebecca, in a dark club theater. Oh? Yeah, you do that. that well. We do acting well. together. Wow. Yeah. See, you guys yeah. are doing so much. What about you? What message would you like to say to everybody? Um, I am the best, best teacher world dance. Oh, Sophie, we're, we're, we're getting a lot of praise, you know. Uh, yeah. And what message would you like to say to people? You like everyone in the class. They seem like cool people. I want to be part of this yeah. team. I really yeah. do. Take me in. And what, what message would you like to give to everyone? Um, I did kickboxing. Ah. Ah. Kickboxing. So you can become a kickboxer if you yeah. want to. Yeah. And you, the diva extraordinary, I can see your vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I want to be like a, a teacher. But I'm working up to it and I'm watching the circuit after to be a teacher and I'm well, looking up to, to, it, her. Yeah. to her so I can get to more. In. And Emily has already started doing a bit of teaching, hasn't you? Amazing. She's working as, a, as an assistant in a, in a dance group, so, so she'll, you'll get there eventually. I want us to give a massive love and appreciation to the Northern Ballet amazing ability team doing their things. I am just going to stay with them so when they make, when you become famous, please don't forget me. I will just be there, just be like, hi, remember me? And I want to say thank you to Sophie and the Northern Ballet for bringing this amazing experience to us in Forum Central. Thank you. Lisa Roll. Everybody say Lisa Roll. Lisa Roll.